Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here from Bish's RV. Uh, taking a look today at a North Trail front kitchen, rear king bed slide, although it is queen capable for those who are wanting that, which is one of the reasons I wanted to look at this one, because if you've seen this floor plan, uh, well, you've probably seen it from several different builders, I guess is a way to say it. Rockwood Flagstaff, Kodiak, Cougar, uh, Wildwood, Salem, like everybody and their brother has something like this. So what are the little special qualities on this one that caught my attention? Uh, again, the fact that it comes with a 72 by 80 sized king bed. So like normal residential king sheets and stuff can fit on this, or you could replace the bed if you wanted to with something else. Um, although the, the mattress in this isn't the worst I've ever seen. Also, certainly not the best. Anyway, um, carpetless, uh, ventless flooring. Those are some nice features. The vaulted ceiling opens things up just enough that it's got some decent shower headroom. But there's a couple really unique qualities on the construction. Like these are built with thicker walls than most uh, lightweight trailers. And that's one of the things that I think is cool. You're getting like a fifth wheel sized sidewall in terms of thickness on something that is still lightweight that maybe some half tons could handle. And I say maybe because a front kitchen with a big super slide buried all the way in the front of it like this can sometimes carry a pretty hefty hitch weight, which can be problematic for some half tons. But uh, with this having that wide stance stability axle system, that might help you a little bit. We always are gonna put safety before the sale. We always recommend, let's investigate your vehicle's capacities before you get too far along. But there's some other cool things on this. Uh, I, I, I'm really, I'm excited to show you a couple little, a couple little interesting tricks, features, gimmicks, whatever word you wanna apply to it. Let me know what you think about this one, if we should keep covering more North Trails for you. Let's get going. All right, so like I said, Everybody and their brother build something like this. Front super slide kitchen and rear bed slide with a bathroom somewhere in betweens. They all do it a little bit differently though. And that's what I want to kind of focus on here. Um, this is, uh, if you, you, you cap a squat here on what I'm going to call the Swiss Army sofa. And you'll see why I call it. That's one of the reasons I want to showcase this. Some people like a hide -a bed Some people like a uh, theater seat. Some people calls it a sickle. I calls it a sling blade. <laughs> Um, you know, they, they the sofa's a little different. I like that nice open area there for shoes. It almost feels too open. Did I sort of, I sounded almost like Scooby-Doo -Doo there. Now you see how there's cabinet doors right there. Normally that would be uh, an electric space heat and bunion burner, but uh, I guess there's some sort of supply shortage right now. But inside that cabinet, there are still outlets. They use just an, the biggest T, I think that's like a 50 inch screen on that thing. And it is on a pivoting swing arm mount. So if you want to make it face over toward the kitchen, if you want to make it face over toward the dinette, you can make it face anywhere you want. And I tell you what, one of the things on this floor plan, it's got that cool front windshield, but it also has a, a ton of other windows. They are over here on the driver's side of the RV as compared to the camp side of the RV. That's just the nature of the beast with this floor plan. That's a deal breaker for you. I totally respect it. I'd, I'd love it if you hung around and gave me your feedback on some other things and understand we certainly have plenty of other stuff. Um, the uh, I'm going to show you something else they do here. Like, it seems like every manufacturer, no matter what decor they put in an RV, it's always the wrong one, which is why I really like that this RV comes with both decors because they purposely build these with flip floppable cushions effectively. One decor on one side, one decor on the other. And frankly, it costs absolutely nothing more to do that. I think it's utterly brilliant. It's so simple. It's so stupidly simple. I don't understand why it's not just standard in the industry. I mean, that's brilliant. I don't care who you are. That's brilliant. This is something I say all the time. Instead of pedestal table legs, give me a set of those classic, inexpensive, lightweight folding table legs right here. Because if I want to detach that table, because... It is attached to the wall. And one of the things I like about that is like, if you got to push yourself down to stand up or somebody tries to jiggle the table, it doesn't go flying everywhere. You know, now if somebody loses a game of Monopoly, yeah, you can still flip that desk right there. But it's, uh, otherwise it's not bad. And it of course folds down into a sleeper. So very lightweight, very multifunctional. Uh, the kitchen in this, like a lot of brands who make something like this, is pretty awesome. With the shape of their nose, Cougar kind of runs into this problem, too. It feels a little bit like uh, my forehead. I mean, look at this. The resemblance is uncanny, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if I pop my little hat off here, uh, see how that just kind of looks a little bald, a little bare, a little missing something? 
sort of what it feels like up here. A little bald, a little bare, a little missing something. But with the way the nose of this tapers inward, if they put cabinets in there, they'd be kicking you in the face the whole time. <laughs> that stung. <laughs> now, at a glance, you look at this going, okay, so there's no overhead cabinet space. All right, we got some good drawer space. A little space maybe for a wastebasket down there or something. Um, they, there's actually, I think you could open this up a little bit. They're trying to make sure you don't break stuff. I would take that partition out of there. I'd put a wastebasket over on the left side. That's just me personally. But outlets, outlets. Um, and uh, again, if I'm being fair here, the nose of this front thing is dark. Now my camera works really hard to, to light balance everything. But like, you see how much lighting is back here. Up in the front of the trailer, it gets a little dim in that area. And I would love to see it. Like, they have two lights. I don't want you to add more lights. I want to take these two lights and pivot them. So I have one light there, one light there. And suddenly, I think this whole area will light up very nicely. Um, that's just a personal thing, just being nitpicky. And again, well, one of the cool things about these, when you're standing at the sink, you don't feel like you're just staring at the wall like you got in trouble. I say that. I say that. What are we doing? We're literally staring at the wall. Uh, another North Trail, but hey, whatever. You know what I meant. Normally, you wouldn't be, hopefully, elephant-style nose to tail with another one of these. Um, that does have a, a shade you can pull down there, obviously. Um, the uh, They just went to this butcher's block color, butcher's block style, sort of sealed edge uh, countertop over here, which is really cool. And if I get the sink cover out of the way, which I meant to do earlier, sorry about that, making a racket over here. Big old farm sink down there. And as we back up here, you see the standard fridge here is a 12 volt DC compressor fridge, 10 plus cubic foot of uh, fast cooling travel safe capacity. There is also an option to swap this out or a swaption, if you will, which is RV's nerdism number 37, I think. Anyway, um, for an eight cubic foot gas electric. This is interesting over here. I don't know what's under that. There's got to be a thing there. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, I don't know if it's water heater. Uh, I, I'd have to take a peek outside. This right here, I was actually expecting pantry. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I Before I opened this up, I thought this was a pantry, not a closet. You could certainly add some shelving to it, but I was mistaken on that. So um, the uh, the kitchen, you might want to add to that a little bit if you're looking for more you know, vertical storage. Just depends on what you're looking for. Now again, that TV can pivot out. And speaking of sliding out, pivoting out, whatever you want to say, this is a neat. Oh, of course, I gotta you know try to grab it in the middle here. Interesting little secret squirrel secret storage space that they have back here. A little kind of hidden drawer. And um, I I stumbled into that on accident earlier today. I didn't realize that thing was there. And I, I just kind of leaned on it, wiggle a little bit, and I'm like, what the heck is this? Is something built wrong? I started, and it jiggled more, and I'm like, wait a minute. It feels like it's like it's secure, but it's wiggly. And I played with it, and I figured out what was going on. They very recently also swapped over to the uh, the day-night, nope, I'm sorry, not day-night, the uh, blackout night roller shades. And these are all tinted windows, by the way. Um, one of the cool things, by the way, about that free-floating table, if you take it off the brackets, you can kind of slide it over toward... Your, uh, the other people that are camping with you a little bit kind of cheat some space. Now, this thing over here, I like this. I like this a lot, and I would really encourage you, if you get a chance to see one of these in person, what I am calling, and if Heart, Heartland, if you call it this, you owe me a royalty. Well, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, the Swiss Army sofa. Because, I mean, you know, looking at it, it looks like just another jackknife sofa, right? And in point of pure technicality, yeah, it is a jackknife sofa, but that's not all it is. It's almost like a table with an extension leaf. It has an additional little extension on it so that it can open up into the size of a hide -a bed Now, a lot of campers who make this floor plan have a hide -a bed What about people who prefer to be able to kick their feet up like a theater seat? Well, guess what, Carol Baskin? You can do that here, too. So, that bottom extension cushion it actually like stores effectively in like this slide out drawer but what's cool is it's got a catch so it can't just totally fall out of this thing and if you wanted to just take this cushion out if you don't care about the hide a bed function if maybe just a jackknife and the dinette for a sleeper is enough you could use that 
just like a cool little bonus storage drawer. And that is why I call it a Swiss Army sofa. So what do you think about that thing? Like, oh, I, I love it conceptually. I haven't used it, I haven't played with it enough to really feel like, yes, I really do like that, or, or, or no, I don't like that. But I love the idea of it. Um, one of my fears is it ends up being sort of like early camera phones where it wasn't a good camera, it wasn't a good phone. Is it, maybe it's only just a barely okay hide a bed and theater simulated seat because it's obviously not a true theater seat, but, or is it good enough? Is it awesome? I don't know. Um, you may have noticed slide side windows don't open for airflow. I don't mind pointing that stuff out, shooting you straight. Uh, there's very solid space around that toilet right there. Um, the sink is not the biggest I've ever seen. It's not terrible. It could be a little bigger. There's also a few things like if you would prefer a bigger vent fan, if you would prefer a porcelain toilet, those are things that our parts and service teams at Bish's RV locations can take care of for you. And I misjudged the size of this bathroom. I slammed right into the uh, corner of a door jam right between my shoulder blades. That felt terrific. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the good news is I did not hit my head in the shower with this having that uh, vaulted ceiling that we're looking at right here. I think one of the best places to actually be able to see that is up here in the nose because I don't use goofy, tricky fisheye lenses. You know, I use straight lenses. Um, the uh, it, You can see that, that taper up front. Now, if we really want to go crazy and exaggerate it, I can do that too. But I don't know. Camera angles like this, it feels like I'm lying to you. And I realize I've talked about that TV pivoting around a bunch. I just never actually showed it. So there you go. <laughs> you want to watch TV from the dinette or maybe you're putting the grandkid down for the night or something like that. You want to turn on SpongeBob something or other. You know, you can do that there. Um, they most definitely took some notes from Rockwood on this floor plan, certainly. The way that that big closet and that bedroom entry door there are, are positioned, very, very reminiscent of Rockwood. Now, that door is going to be crucial when it comes to road mode traveling access. I'm going to get the slide closed up on this one in just a minute here. But one of the things where they kind of took a note, say, from like Freedom Express or Cougar or something like that is a king bed. But one of the cool things with North Trail is every one of their floor plans uses this big 72 by 80 king bed. So like normal residential king sheets and stuff or a replacement bed could fit on this. That being said, now, oh, actually, let me address something here. So like you're looking at this and you're going, why doesn't it have a bedspread? Have you ever had a camper? Did you actually use the bedspread? Uh, leave me comments and let me know on that. I, I have a suspicion 99% of people don't. So they didn't waste money on it. They didn't make you, because, because the thing is, they don't waste money on it. Eventually, you're the one that always pays for it, right? Let's be real about this. I'll, I'll be, you know, totally candid with you. Why do you want to buy a bedspread you're just going to throw away? Is this okay? Or do you hate the look of this? Like, if you're going to buy an RV, do you hate the way it looks? I'm kind of curious. One of the things I want to point out is sometimes, actually, this floor plan, they don't really do that. On some north trails, sometimes the edge of the bed can feel a little bit uh, floppy. And here's the reason why. This floor plane actually is one of the few that isn't, so never mind. But uh, other North Trails, the bed base down here is actually usually queen size in case you want to size down to a queen. This one looks like it is effectively always king sized. And the way you can see that is the bed deck. Uh, it doesn't really hang out too far past the box down here. Now, I could be wrong, but that doesn't look like a queen size under bed storage. What I do like, though, is how it is totally separated in there. So now my question, what about road mode? Okay, so there is a way you can have front-to-back travel access on this one, which is kind of what we're displaying here. But to do it, what you have to do is leave the bathroom door all the way open, and then you're going to have to secure it in some way, shape, or form. You know, a good way might be... Uh, you know, no, the idea that I had isn't going to work. Never mind. I'm not even going to get into it because it would be wrong. And if you do that, you can slide through here all the way from the bedroom up to the living room. You got to do a sideways travel trailer two-step to do it, but you can get out. Hey, boys, say hi. You are on candid camera. Now, this is one of the very few North Trails that has a windshield on the front of it. And windshields look amazing. Um, 
They are a giant thermal hole in the wall. There's effectively almost zero R value on those, but that's not in your bedroom. That's up in the kitchen area. It feels like it's less of an issue. Not to mention when you're standing there at the sink, you don't feel like you're just staring straight at the wall. Like you got a cool look at your campsite, but I'll always shoot you straight. I'll tell you the good with the bad. One of the problems with most front kitchens is they suck for outside storage. They just don't have good outside storage because that big kitchen up there doesn't give you a spot for that normal pass through. Now, some brands do better in that way than others. It really just uh, kind of depends, you know. Down here, uh, these all have power tongue jack, power corner jacks, power awning, everything being push button easy. Underbelly here is enclosed and heated and we're actually gonna come back to some belly stuff in just a minute, which kind of uh, sounds like me at a buffet. I'll come back to the belly stuff. Anyway, um, <laughs> let me get this little sign out of the way here. One of the things I want to show you on these is the wide stance stability axle system. Now, apologies, uh, we are in a live display currently. It's uh, nice and warm in here. We are in the middle of a Michigan snowmageddon at the time of this recording. So, uh, you know, that, that's where we're at. Um, Bishes, by the way, uh, now has three locations in Michigan. The two Fun and Sun RV locations plus Halet RV are all now Bishes RV, which gives us 16 across the nation. Uh, let's talk the sidewalls. Very uncommon for a travel trailer to have a true two inch sidewall. Most are an inch and a half. That is something that even a lot of fifth wheels don't have. And the way that you can tell is if you reach inside here, these doors are built two inches wide. If your fingers can get behind that uh, metal flange, well, you know it's not a two inch wall like this one. Also, the layer directly below the fiberglass is Asdell, uh, which is a composite material. It's a wood substitute product. Asdell has a lot of benefits. Its biggest benefit is just lighter weight. Uh, the second thing is it's got a Z in it, so it's uh, very handy if you're playing Scrabble. You can get some double, triple bonus points off that thing. A little pro tip for you from your Uncle Josh, but you never thought you'd get Scrabble tips watching an RV video, but that is how we do it at Fishes, Ladies and gentlemen, moving on. Um, seems a little funny. Black tank flush on the door side, but this is where the bathroom's located. <laughs> but this is where the bathroom's located. Unintentional dad joke, anyway. Um, so that is the most effective place for those. Now you might notice these have a little bit different like mismatch steps. Some brands do it, some brands don't. There's benefits, there's drawbacks. Some people prefer the stable steps. Um, when the RV's in storage, sometimes that can be a little problematic to get into. So it is kind of nice to have the fold in and out steps. Some people don't want a door into their bedroom. So they don't want steps. So you can deadbolt it. I don't know, it's, it, it's your life. Do your thing the way you please, you know. Now over here, we have ourselves a uh, little outside utility shower. So what you can do for, hey, thank you. <laughs> some, some folks walk by wanted to say hi. Um, uh, outside utility shower. You can hose your, uh, your, your, your wife down with that, fellas, when she's in her chair, nice and relaxing, and then run for your life, okay? Now, um, you notice on the, the, uh, the rear bumper here, there's a grill bracket. Uh, one of the cool things, these, it does come with the grill, by the way. I kind of like it on the bumper. It's a little classic thing. It kind of keeps, the grills don't make enough heat to damage your RV, but it, it, it just, it feels more peace of mind that you get the heat away from the camper, not to mention all the grease and the smells and everything else. Um, now, because the propane quick connect comes off the side of the RV, that would be called a uh, cooker hooker. It's not quite a propane. It's because it doesn't quite come off the, uh, the back side here. Now, working our way around up top like a lot of things, we are prepped and ready for a backup camera. That's not uh, terribly uncommon. Almost every single camper seems to have something like that nowadays. Um, the only real outside storage you're gonna get here is actually under the uh, headboard of the bed. Well, I mean, there was the six pack pocket storage over there on the other side, but that is really big. There's all the hats. We've been looking for these things. Hey, mystery solved, team. I feel like we solved a Scooby-Doo mystery over here. All right, I said we'd come back to some underbelly stuff. This floor plan has an anomaly I've never seen before. So it's a front kitchen and a mid bath. It's not unusual for floor plans like that to see two uh, dump bales. I know that people don't love that, but it's just it just kind of goes with the territory. Uh, you've got a gray tank up front. That next one is, as far as I can tell, gray only. So if those are in front of the tires, as far as I can tell, it means the black tank outlet is over here behind the tires. 
and the only thing that I can think is just because of the way the tanks were placed in relation to the wide stance axles, they had to split them like that. Now, I've never seen that before. I don't love it. And I bet your paycheck you don't love it either. But that's what I do in these videos. Whether it's awesome or not, I'm gonna do my best to make sure you get to see all there is to see. Maybe some people don't care. Maybe for some people that's a deal breaker. If it is, check the links in the video description. I got a couple other things for you to check out. Now, at any point, if you're curious to see what one of these is running or where we have one part, check the link in our video description. Anywhere that we have one in stock, we'll have a price published for you. And uh, if you, you know, if we're sold out of them for some reason, you call our team and we'll get you figures. Short of that, I will leave you a bunch of links in the video description, some other things that are similar, maybe a front, maybe a rear kitchen, some similar layouts. Give you a little kind of cross comparison. I'd love you to tell me what you like about this one, what you change given the opportunity. And if you're familiar with other people who make a layout like this, which one would be your favorite? Would you pick this over one of those and why? Always appreciate that feedback, guys. Keep it coming. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And best wishes from Bishes, everyone.